3D lecture, I'm going to show that x cube minus 3x square minus 13x plus 15 is exactly divisible by x square plus 2x minus 3. So let's see the answer. So first here, I'm going to assume fx equal to x cube minus 3x square minus 13x plus 15. gx equal to x square plus 2x minus 3. Now here gx is so uh, or divisible or uh, sorry fx is divisible by gx. So here gx equal to 0 or we can write x square plus 2x minus 3 equal to 0. Now thereafter this is the form of quadratic equation. So we need to multiply here first term with the last term. So x square into minus 3 that come minus 3 x square. After that write here second term middle term. Now middle term we can write 3x minus uh, x. Okay. So 3x minus x. So if you subtract it equal to 2x and when you multiply 3x minus x then that come minus 3 x square. So these two are same. So here we can write x square in place of 2x we can write 3x minus x minus 3 equal to 0. Now the next is here let's take the common x. So x plus 3 this here minus x plus 3 equal to 0. Now the next is here x plus 3 is the common and here you can get x minus 1. So x plus 3 equal to 0 and x minus 1 equal to 0. Here x equal to 1, x equal to minus 3. So here this is now I call to x equal to minus 3 and x equal to 1. After that applying the factor theorem. By factor theorem. fx will be divisible by so one side that come x plus 3 and uh, next is x minus 1 if f minus 3 equal to 0 and f 1 equal to 0. Okay, so according to factor theorem, fx will be divisible by x plus 3 x minus 1 if f minus 3 equal to 0, f equal to 0. So x value is now minus 3 count, minus 3 and here 1. Now here writing fx that is so uh, x cube minus 3x square after that minus 13x plus 5, 15 minus 13x plus 15 so this side going to calculate here f minus 3 so minus 3 power 3 into 3 minus 3 square minus 13 into minus 3 and plus 15 and uh, here f minus 3 so if you calculate this one so here this come minus 27 and minus 3 minus 3 squared that is 9 and minus minus plus 39 and here 15 this f minus 3 so this here minus 27 this here minus 27 and uh, if you add this one 9 plus 5 4 3 plus 1 4 and 1 more 5 so f minus 3 equal to if you add this one this come minus 54 here 54 
so f minus 3 that is equal to 0 so first that I got here f minus 3 equal to 0 and the next is here going to calculate f1 so this time 1 power q minus 3 into 1 s square minus 13 into 1 and thereafter 15 so f1 1, 1 power q 1 3 this is and here minus 13 plus 15 so here f1 or uh, this 15 plus 1 16 16 minus 16 that is 0 so f1 that comes 0 hence so both come here f1 f minus 3 that comes 0 hence we can write gx is the factor or fx so here we can write or uh, this here fx is divisible by gx fx is divisible by gx so this is the way we can show that this question so first try assume this is fx next is uh, this assume gx so gx is div uh, fx is divisible by gx so gx equal to 0 x square plus 2x minus 3 equal to 0 now solve this and here you can get x plus 3 x minus 1 so x equal to minus 3 x equal to 1 after the byte factor theorem fx will be divisible by x plus 3 x minus 1 if f minus 3 equal to 0 f equal to 0 so here f minus 3 that calculated that come 0 and f1 that also come 0 so hence fx is uh, divisible by gx so this is the way we can prove so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see next to it thank you